Moonlight. Is there a more romantic word than moonlight? You know, through the centuries, artists and composers have struggled to compare the effects of moonlight with their creations. I have personally attempted to paint moonlight many times, and each time I have attempted a different palette, a different technique, and a different subject to capture the effect of moonlight. My newest painting, Moonlight Cottage, is, I think, my most successful moonlight painting to date. This painting features a full moon. Now, unlike some of my other paintings where the moon was incidental to the subject, this painting is front and center a painting about moonlight. Over the years, I have been very influenced by creative people who've attempted to portray moonlight in their work. For example, Frank Tenney Johnson, the great American Western artist, was known for his use of moonlight on the prairie. Here would be cowboys out on the plains, perhaps having finished their day working with the cattle and settling down to a quiet evening of relaxation. Moonlight often played an integral role in those paintings, and I was inspired as a child with the rich imagination of what it is like to sleep under the moonlight. Of course, great composers have often taken moonlight as inspiration for their compositions, especially romantic composers like Beethoven, Mendelssohn, and Debussy, artists who could translate the visual effects of moonlight into melodic compositions. Moonlight Cottage is the third piece in my Romantic Cottage series. Now, if you remember, these three paintings are part of a trilogy of works that celebrate a simple poem that I wrote one evening in tribute to the life I lead with my family. The words to this poem are simple but meaningful. And it's just a little poem, and it says, A quiet evening, a peaceful time, a life worth living because you're mine. Uh, now, the first one I did was Quiet Evening. If you remember Quiet Evening, this was a painting of sunset. Uh, it was a very romantic uh, sense of the darkness of evening, and yet the coziness of that cottage, which was by a little stream. The second painting in the series began life as a small sketch. I was just doodling around the studio, and I had the idea of a cottage up on a hillside. Now, I called the painting A Peaceful Time, and you see a lot of the fun details in the painting. Of course, we have the flowers that I love to paint. I painted a lot of very specific flowers. Now, this moonlight cottage represents the third and fourth lines in that simple poem, a life worth living because you're mine. Now, truly, if there is a life worth living, it's because you have someone special, a family member, a loved one, a spouse, to pour your love into. And what better place to share that love than in a moonlit cottage? Of course, there's a lot of romantic details in the painting. I put a little heart on the tree with the initials CK. Now, those initials have double meaning to me. On the one hand, a good friend of mine who is getting married recently announced his wedding day. And as a special tribute to that man and his bride-to-be, I put their first name initials carved into the tree. Of course, CK is also the initials of my second daughter, Chandler, and since her birthday was just about here, I told her it's your turn for a tribute in one of my paintings. If you notice when you look at the painting, the moon itself is making its way above the roof of the cottage, and of course, as it creeps over that roof, you see the golden moonbeams burn away the effects of the cottage itself as though it were almost eating away uh, the forms of the roof and the chimney. That light is so intense that it seems to blind you as you look at it. The wisps of smoke rise above the chimneys of the cottage, suggesting that this is a chilly evening and a fire has been lit in the hearth below. Imagine what it would be like to be in this cottage on a moonlit evening. How romantic to look out your window and see the glow of moonbeams as they dance across your garden. If you look carefully, there are several hearts in this painting. Of course, some of the leaves within the trees suggest heart forms, and the moonlight itself seems encircled by a swirling cloud. Perhaps that's another heart just forming in the heavens. This painting is so soft and romantic that I feel as though I want to step right into it even as I speak. There is something so inviting about moonlight. When my wife Nanette and I were first dating, we had a song that we loved to listen to called Moon Shadows. And as we sung that song together, we actually went into a field and took a walk in the moonlight on our very first date. What a romantic memory. If you're like me and you're a romantic at heart, 
then I hope you'll take time to really study some of the details and the mood within my new painting. Each painting I do is a different excursion into the experience of living. I like to think that I try to remind people of that wide-eyed wonder we had as children when the world was fresh and new and everything was a joy to see. This painting celebrates perhaps that romantic notion of what it's like to be under a full moon. This is Thomas Kincaid reminding all of you that God is good and his love for us is so abundant in this beautiful world he gave us. God bless you and thanks for sharing the light.